The Birds and the Bees and the Facts of Saving Life. Written by Jack and Lochi, illustrated by Andela Jankovic. Dedicated to every living thing who calls Earth and home, the future generations who will. This is a different story of the birds and the bees. It's not about babies, but why we need creatures like bees. You see, the bees buzz around and help all of nature grow. The birds spread seeds this way, that way, wherever they go. All of the work from the busy bees, birds, and the busy bees meant humans that food, yoinks, will take that and some of these. Apples and avocados, carrots and peas, nuts and herbs and spices, whatever the humans please. But it wasn't just food that the humans had found. They discovered fossil fuels under the ground. Buried with dinophones all the way down, they mixed this dirty stuff and, and burned it to power their town. The humans burned and burned more and more each day which let out smoke called CO2 that would be here to stay. Year 1950, atmospheric CO2, 9% of critical limit. The sky got darker and dirtier and gave all the animals a scare. The CO2 stuff the birds said is ma making it harder to breathe the air. Year 1980, atmospheric CO2, 20% of current critical limit. The planet got warmer and, dr dr and droughts got more severe. Some of the animals even began to disappear. Year 2000, atmosphere C CO2, 45% of critical limit. Soon, Soon the world was so polluted it's completely changed the weather more fires and more storms oops um left left the animals huddled, huddled together Year 2010, atmosphere, atmosphere CO2, CO2 59%, 59 of, of critical limit. By now, the CO2 scared the humans as well. Their once wonderful world had changed, and they could all tell. But burning fossil fuels was all that humans knew. The world got darker, and there was nothing the birds and bees could do. Year 2021. Atmosphere CO2. 77% of critical limit. And then suddenly there was no nature <laughs> left. The world was full of pollution. Okay, year 2035. If we continue at current rates, atmospheric CO2, 99% of critical limit. Bird, the bird and the bee said, we need to find a solution. In the darkness, a door opened and there, was a, there a little kid stood. She read about the birds and the bees and wanted to do some good. So she asked her parents, can you listen, please? We need to talk about the birds and the bees. Uh, isn't it a bit too soon for that? Mom said to dad, we can't wait, mom said the girl. Things are getting really bad. The parents told the, their friends who told their coworkers, who told their brothers, the story of the birds and the bees spared from one person to another. With every conversation, the world got brighter by the hour. Humans planted gardens, rode their bikes, and used sun for power.
but for the future, to get even brighter, we need your help too. Take this pledge and promise to do all you can do. I pledge to spread this story of the birds and the bees, to save the plants and the trees, and the koalas and the bears, and the turtles and the hares, and the fish in the sea, and every human like me. What started with just one kid ended up making quite a fuss. Finally, the world changed their ways and united to save all of us. We saved the planet. Thanks, kid. This has been a different story of the bees and the birds. Yeah. Uh, and now our, how our Earth can change and uh, with just a couple degrees. degrees but don't let this planet saving story stop at, at this book tell your family Tell your friend about the actions humans took. The end. Yay! Very good reading.